Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marian and we will talk today about the battery price shock then as well the expansion of the 4680 production with LG. So let's start first of all with the um, battery price shock. Why the battery price shock? Because all what is needed for the battery is getting more and more expensive. And Tesla is pretty lucky because they of course have foreseen this and they knew that these components will increase by price and that's why Tesla is moving towards the LFP battery. Why? That's why they do that and because cobalt prices increased by 119% over the last year from January till January this year. The nickel price is by 55%, lithium carbonate by 569%. This is just just insane. And this is con going to continue over the next few years because the demand for batteries is so high and is outstripping any kind of production. And furthermore, the battery cell production or the battery cell suppliers, they are also changing the strategy here. They are saying, well, we are going to do flexible prices, no fixed prices anymore over a few years. Um, we don't have any insights in Tesla contracts. I do assume that Tesla might have been still lucky until now that they have been uh, doing price uh, fixed prices in their contracts because they just take so much. Um, but again, they might be as well affected of the battery prices at some point in the future. But this is the good news here, guys. Tesla is moving forward and they are moving in the right direction with the 4680 battery cell, less costs, um, a better range. And that is all what we need. Um, production will start very soon here in Austin. And LG also said a part of Panasonic that they are already going into development for the 4680 production um, called to Tesla Rati. So um, again, we have information that more and more suppliers will supply Tesla um, with this battery cell. And this is very good news for the future. Again, the prices might not go to $100 per kilowatt hour very soon. And Tesla is very good in understanding that they don't like to ship batteries um, through the entire world. Having a battery production in Austin, in Nevada, having one here in Giga Berlin, having a lot of supply in Shanghai, just very close to the factory. That is the key here by driving the cost down. And in the future, it will get even more important to be efficient when producing cars. And this might be the issue for the competition here because they have to deal with the battery cell supply chain issue, not having enough batteries at some point when they grow. And of course, on the other hand, with the prices. And that is something to consider of. And Tesla is very good in handling that. And I'm actually very excited for the near future when we see the batteries coming out here in Grünheide and in a few weeks in Austin. So again, guys, there is this battery price shock and it will hold on for a few bit um, over the next few years because it takes a lot of time to build a new mine. It actually takes around about like five to six years to build a new mine um, to get enough resources. So the supply is still going to be limited and it is a key factor here for Tesla to have very good relationships with all the suppliers. And of course, guys, Redwood materials, batteries recycling is going to get even more important. Recycling what is done in Europe, recycling what is happening in, in the United States and using the recycled materials to go directly into new materials and new batteries. Then for the European market, Seebrugge is waiting for another ship of Model Y and Model 3s in February 15th. Um, very important, Great Britain received already its first Model Y. Um, they should be on the way to be delivered to customers. So very exciting as we do know that the Model Y um, will be in strong demand in Great Britain. The Model 3 was selling already very well in uh, Great Britain as well last year. Then looking into the lawsuit, um, it, it's going to be moved backwards because of Corona. Um, but again, guys, this is not part of the final permit. It is a separate lawsuit of the environmental group um, against the increase of water usage 
but this has nothing to do with Tesla itself. Even German newspapers are not reporting it correctly again. So um, just information for you. Um, Elon Musk is going to come soon to Giga Berlin. Of course, we don't know any exact dates um, as we want to keep that safe um, due, due to security reasons here. But we know based on his um, last tweet about the um, traveling to Germany that he's going to come at some point in February. So I'm looking forward to that. And maybe there is already then any updates regarding the permit. A part of that Tesla is doing what they have to do. They are further preparing production. They are further preparing the sites here for containers and for deliveries. So that is all into place. Then I'm looking into the door handles. Um, there was a lot of confusion in the past that people said, well, I cannot open my car actually. Um, so we do have here um, in the handbook, the explanation actually in which way you should use your hand to actually open your door. And there was a nice video online on Twitter as well, sharing this in a practical moment here um, when you have frozen door handles. Um, I think we don't need any heat or if you agree, we should enter heat. Um, just uh, please let me know. Heated door handles would of course um, solve this issue right away. Um, if not, you just have to hammer your hand a bit against the door handle. I'm just coming back one more time to the battery price shock. I think um, as we have the chip shortage, um, the semiconductor shortage that we all had in the past months, um, which we are still struggling with. I think the battery price shock will be even harder um, to handle for the competition. It will be very, very complicated um, to build a profitable um, EV for many um, car makers if those prices are further increasing. And this will be a challenging factor because many people are not going to be willing to pay even more for an EV um, if uh, the other brands are going to increase their prices. Um, for Tesla, on the other hand, the profit margins are great. Um, the gross margins are great. They're doing a lot of money right now despite the increase of prices. So Tesla will be able to handle that easily even if the prices are going to increase per car by 5%. They're going to get it back somewhere in the production efficiency. So um, I don't see any issues here with Tesla moving forward. So thank you very much, guys, for being here today again. And if you're a German speaker, you can also follow me on Evolution, five minutes of EV news in German. And of course, my podcast in German as well to listen to any updates on Tessie's supply. So thank you very much for being here. Take care.